At a time of political change, Nicola Sturgeon stood still, a fixture of Scottish life for so long. Now her focus is elsewhere, out the door of Butte House. And as they gathered outside to watch this shock press conference, some were pleased. Nicola Sturgeon standing down, how do you feel about that? Delighted. Delighted? Yeah. Saddened for her, you know, on a personal basis, but I haven't agreed with her politics for a long time. Never done much for Scotland, you know what I mean? Useless. Others less happy. A little bit sad, yeah. It's good that she was a woman and she was a strong leader and I liked what she stood for. Through the pandemic and everything, I felt really safe with her, so wondering who will get next. Navigating Scotland through the pandemic, perhaps one of the biggest challenges she faced in the last eight years. Her regular briefings widely praised. A virus like this simply cannot be made to go away. What else hasn't gone away in recent months? Criticism over her plans to make it easier for trans people to change their gender. Tell them what they Tell them what they and then there's her strategy on independence. Members in her own party unsure of her call to treat the next general election as a de facto independence referendum. So what now for a movement without her at the helm? She's bound to be tired, and I think she's shown signs of tiredness, but I think fundamentally she knows that uh, the de facto referendum proposal was not a good idea. I think the SNP has lost its best communicator. She is a formidable campaigner, and I think that will be a major loss to them. Entering the Scottish Parliament in 1999 and rising through the ranks of her party, she became an election success story, winning for the SNP again and again. Her departure will be viewed as a win for opposition leaders. She was still polling higher than others who reacted today. Despite my many disagreements with Nicola Sturgeon, despite my many arguments, I think that record in that time of service is worthy of respect and worthy of thanks. At a UK level, she was in power during the premierships of Cameron to May to Johnson to Truss and Rishi Sunak. Let me first start by paying tribute to Nicola Sturgeon for her long-standing public service. And I wish her well in the future. Now, obviously, Nicola and I didn't agree on everything, but in the short time that we did work together, I was pleased that we were able to announce two free ports in Scotland. Division and decay are what critics say is her legacy for failing to close the attainment gap and presiding over record drug deaths. Supporters praise her as an inspiration to women and girls. A First Minister who was formidable, but by not achieving her aim of independence, some view this as a failure.